Hello all, this video is on using MLX90614, a contactless IR temperature sensor which is also known as GY906 or HW691. At present conditions of virus spread, this sensor is in very high demand for medical applications. The communication uh, protocol is uh, similar to that of I2C but it is called SM, System Management Bus. SM is based on principles of I2C protocol but uh, it is a multi master bus while i2c is a single master uh, sm is multi master bus and uh, clock speed is of sm bus is minimum 10 kilowatts maximum 100 kilowatts i2c can go up to 2 megahertz in high speed the object temperature can be measured from minus 70 to 380 degrees celsius and uh, ambient temperature minus 42 to 125 degrees celsius we can use uh, Arduino, you know, for testing this uh, MLX90614 uh, sensor. The MLX can work on 3.3 uh, volt as well as 5 volt. Uh, let us use the 5 volt first. VCC to 5 volt, ground to ground. SCL is connected to A5 of Arduino and uh, SDA is connected to A4. Uh, this uh, SDA pin, on this SDA pin, data is transmitted as uh, 10 bit PWM from the MLX sensor. Uh, before starting we need a library to use MLX sensor. Go to manage libraries under Arduino IDE and then search for Adafruit MLX uh, and then select the Adafruit MLX 90614 library. There is also SparkFun library but Adafruit is uh, reliable. Select this uh, latest version and install it. Now under file examples you can see the uh, example code there is only one example code this you can modify according to your needs in this code we use uh, wire.h we include wire.h initially as there is no separate header file for SMBus we use the SMBus uh, this uh, header file for uh, I2C and we include the Adafruit MLX uh, header file and then initiate the MLX object under void setup we begin mlx.begin method we use and then under void loop we measure the object's temperature as well as the ambient temperature using the methods upload the code and open the serial monitor you can see the result ambient room temperature as well as the object uh, temperature in centigrade as well as fahrenheit if you do not want fahrenheit and only centigrade you want then under void loop you comment out the fahrenheit code and then upload the code now you get uh, only the centigrade uh, output the temperature can be measured uh, from the object without uh, uh, touching it that is contactless you can place the object uh, from 1 to 2 centimeter range it will give precise reading that is the speciality of this sensor contactless IR temperature sensor now let us add an I2C LCD to the project and a buzzer so that on high temperature it will give a buzzer indication. This I2C LCD is built on a PCF 8574IC and it is got only 4 pins VCC, ground, SDA and SCL that is that works on I2C protocol. As we require 5 volt for this I2C LCD let us shift the power source of MLX to 3.3 volt. MLX sensor works on 3.3 volt so connect the VCC of MLX to 3.3 volt and ground to ground uh, SCL pin is at uh, A5 and SD at A4 now connect the VCC of LCD to 5 volt and ground to ground SCL is connected to SCL pin and SDA to uh, SDA pin you can connect multiple devices on the SDA SCL bus I2C bus. Now provide the USB power. For using the I2C LCD, we require another library. Go to manage libraries and then search for I2C LCD. Select the liquid crystal I2C library and then install the latest version. These libraries can be downloaded and then copied to a library folder of Arduino. But we prefer to use the manage library method with the internet. After installing the I2C library, now we have to uh, we should know the I2C address of the devices. Each I2C device has got its own address. We use I2C scanner sketch for this. 
link is given in the description below you can uh, upload the i2c scanners code and then open the serial monitor you can find 0x3f is the i2c lcd address and 0x5a is the address of the mlx code mlx sensor this is the sample code modified code of uh, adafruit we have added the uh, this uh, i2c lcd facility in this the i2c address should be uh, used in this uh, code that is 0x3f while initiating i2c lcd now upload this code and open the serial monitor you can uh, see the reading or ambient reading as well as the object reading on i2c lcd also this uh, result is displayed now let us connect a buzzer at uh, d8 digital pin 8 this is a small 5 volt buzzer piezo buzzer directly connected to d8 and uh, a small pin connected to ground now when uh, soldering iron uh, is brought near the sensor this uh, temperature goes beyond 38 we have set the threshold as 38 in code so when the temperature goes beyond 38 uh, the buzzer will go on and automatically it will go off and the temperature is low thank you for watching